students after finishing types of set let's start practice set 1.2 question number 1 decide which of the following are equal sets and which are not justify your answer now here this question we have to check whether the given set is a equal set or not first we will justify and then we come across whether it is set or not so here a is equal to opening curly bracket x such that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 curly bracket close student this is an equation this is an equation linear equation in one variable you have already uh, studied in class 8 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. Linear equation in one variable you have studied. Now we will solve how to how to solve. We will check this. So first we will write here solution. A is equal to opening curly bracket x such that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. Close the curly bracket. Now see here 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. Minus 1 is on left hand side. If this minus one is moving from left to right, then its sign is sign will change. Okay, minus sign will convert into plus sign, so it will become plus two, plus one. Minus one will become plus one. Three x minus one. Minus one will move from left to right. It is moving its place. Minus one. Okay, so minus one will become plus one. See here, I am going to show you working. Working mode, three x minus two is equal. Three uh, x is equal to two plus one. Minus one will become plus one. So here, three x is equal to two plus one. Three x is equal to two plus one. Now, three x is equal to two plus one. Give me three. Two plus one give me three. Now, that is x is equal to three upon three. Three upon three. Three one zero three three one zero three x is equal to one. So here x value we found that x is equal to one. So here we will write statement since a is equal to opening curly bracket a x such that three x minus one is equal to two close the curly bracket is equal to one. The value of x is one. Is that clear? Now we have to check whether b and c. Also get this one. If it is get one, then our condition is satisfied. That means it is equal set. But we have to verify it first. First, okay. Now here B. Uh, B is curly bracket opening curly bracket x such that x is a natural number. But x is neither prime nor composite. Which number is neither prime nor composite? Yes. So one is neither prime nor composite. One is neither prime number nor composite number. So here we will write the complete statement, and after that we will write here is equal to curl opening curly bracket one curly bracket close. Why? Because one is the only number which is neither prime nor composite. Here c is equal to x such that x is the element of natural number and stand for natural number. X such that x is the element of n. X is less than two curly bracket close. Students, natural number are those number which start from one. The number which start from one, such type of a number are known as natural number. So here it is. Uh, it says that x such that x is the element of natural number. Where x is less than two, so which number is less than two, and the number should be natural number. So as you know that natural number start from one, and x is less than two. That means x is less than two means x is one. X is one. The number is less than two, and natural number start from one. So uh, uh, two is greater than one, and one is less than two. So here. statement x curly bracket x such that x is the element of n and stand for natural number and x is less than 
curly bracket close. That means this x is 1. 1 is less than 2. So here we will write statement solution. C is equal to curly bracket x such that x is the element of natural number. x is less than 2. Curly bracket close. Here the number which is less than 2 is 1. So inside curly bracket we will write 1. So see student here 1, 1 and 1. All the three cases, case A, case B and case C, that is set A, set B and set C. All these three sets are equal set. Why? Because after solving, we are getting here answer 1. See here, A, condition for A, we get here 1. For B, again we are getting here 1. And for lastly, C, we are getting here 1. So, A is equal to B and B is equal to C. That means all these three sets are equal set. Is that clear? Student here, now, which type of a set it is? Yes, equal set. It is equal. But which type of a set it is? It is a single number carry. That means it is a singleton set. Yes, singleton set are those set which carry single element. And here, A carry only single element 1. And here, B carries only one single element. C also carry only one single element. That means this is a type of which set? This is a type of singleton set. And this is an equal set. Why? Because all the three cases are satisfying. All the three Now students, let's solve practice set 1.2 question number 2. Decide whether set A and set B are equal set, give reason for your answer. Now here, set A carries even prime number, whereas set B carries one equation. After solving these two, we have to check whether our answer is coming equal or not. If it is equal, that means it is an equal set. If it is not, that means it is not an equal set. So first, we have to solve it. So let's start with solution. Here, A is equal to even prime number. Solution, we will write here statement. Since A is equal to even prime number. Even prime number. Here, prime number are those number which carries only two factor. That means, wo sirf or sirf apne khud ke hi table mein divide ho sakte aise number ko hum prime number kehte prime number are those number which carries only two factor jo khud ke hi table mein divide hote hain unko hum prime number kehte jo khud ke hi table mein aate samajhna for example 3 ones are 3 5 ones are 5 7 ones are 7 9 ones are 9 no sorry no not 9 uh, 7 ones are 7 11 ones are 11 okay 13 ones are 13 such number are prime number okay now, but 1 is neither prime nor composite number. We want here A is equal to even prime number. Even prime number. Prime number, those number which has uh, only 2 factor, not more than 2 factor. Even number are those number which is divisible by 2. That means 2 table. 2 ka table jo hota hai na, wo even number hota hai. For example, 2 1 is a 2, 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6, 2 4 is a 8, 2 5 is a 10 and so on and so on. So here A is equal to even prime number. So 2 is even prime number. 2 is the only one number which carries one uh, one number that is 2 that is only one even prime number. Okay. So here 2 is the only even prime number. So here we will write is equal to curly opening curly bracket inside that put here 2 close the curly bracket. Now, second question, B is equal to curly bracket open x such that 7x minus 1 is equal to 30. This is an equation we have to solve, linear equation in one variable. Now, this minus 1 is on left hand side. If it is moving from left to right, then it will convert its sign minus to plus. So, minus will become plus 1. So, 13 plus 1. Now, here, first we will write here question B is equal to curly, opening curly bracket x such that 
सेवन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी हियर सी द वर्किंग एक्स सच दैट माइनस सॉरी सेवन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी माइनस वन इज ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट देन इट विल बिकम प्लस वन सो हियर सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी माइनस वन मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट देन इट विल बिकम प्लस वन थर्टीन प्लस वन फोर्टीन सो हियर सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन ना हियर इन डाइट इज विच रूल विल अप्लाई हियर सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन येस यू आर राइट दैट इज डिविजन रूल so x is on left hand side and 14 up numerator and 7 goes on denominator position like this x is equal to 14 upon 7 now after dividing this 7 ones are 7 and 7 twos are 14 here we get x is equal to 2 see here x is equal to 2 after solving this equation we get answer x is equal to 2 so here x such that 7x minus 1 is equal to 13 that is 2 x is 2 that means a and b both are same that means they both are equal so here answer is so a is equal to b that means they both are they both are equal set hence a and b are equal set hence a and b are equal now students let's solve practice set 1.2 question number 3 which of the following are empty set why empty set are those set first understand the concept of empty set empty set are those set which do not carry any single element such set is known as an empty set that means a curly bracket do not contain any number any element such type of a curly bracket is known as an empty set means blank curly bracket no number should be there inside the curly bracket the curly bracket remain blank if it is happen that means that type of a set is known as an empty set is that clear now here three sub question given first sub question a is equal to curly bracket a such that a a such that a is a natural number smaller than 0 natural number are those number which start from 1 natural number are those number which start from 1 and whole number are those number which start from 0 here sub question 1 uh, ask about natural number smaller than 0 we want such number which is a uh, natural number and it should be smaller than 0 there is no such number which is there is no such natural number there is no such natural number which is smaller than 0 is that clear that means a is an empty set so here we will write statement a such that a curly bracket a such that a is a natural number smaller than 0 curly bracket close there is no such number that means it is an empty set see this this curly bracket is blank there is no number in this inside curly bracket there is no number inside this curly bracket now such type of a curly bracket is known as an empty set so a is an empty set why because there is no number is that clear if there is a number that means it is not an empty set okay so here a is an empty set why because there is no such number there is no such natural number which is smaller than 0 is that clear so a is an empty set now b is equal to curly bracket x such that x square is equal to 0 x square is equal to 0 square of 0 is 0 0 into 0 0 so 0 square is Zero. So there is a number which is uh, inside the curly bracket. Zero is there. So that means it is not a set. See here, b such that b is equal to x such that x square is equal to zero. Zero square. If x square is equal to zero, that means the value of x is zero. X square is equal to zero. That means value of x is zero. Zero square zero. So here inside the curly bracket zero is there. See here there is a number that means this curly bracket is not an empty. This curly bracket is not an empty. That means B is not an empty set. B is not an 
empty set. Now, sub question 3. Let's understand sub question 3. C is equal to curly bracket x such that phi x minus 2 is equal to 0. x is an element of natural number. After solving this equation, this is an equation phi x minus 2 is equal to 0. After solving this equation, if we get any natural number, after solving this equation, after solving the value of x, if we get value of x is, x is natural number, that means it is not a set. But if we doesn't find any natural number, if we doesn't find any natural number, that means C is not an empty set. See how? First we will write here working. Working phi x minus 2 is equal to 0. See this? Phi x minus 2 is equal to 0. This is an equation. Phi x minus 2. Left hand side phi x minus 2. Right hand side 0. So if minus 2 is moving from left to right, then its sign change. So, so minus sign become plus sign. It will convert. Minus will become plus. So 5x is equal to 0 plus 2. So here 5x is equal to 0 plus 2, 2. So x is equal to 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. After dividing this, we will get a decimal. We will not get a complete number. 2 upon 5. After dividing this 2 upon 5, we will not get a complete number. That means we will not get a natural number. So here, this uh, 5x minus 2 is equal to 0 is not and is, uh, is an empty set. Why? Because it is not a natural number. See here, after solving this, we are, we are not getting natural number. Na? So, 5x minus 2 is equal to 0 is an empty set. Is an empty set. Why? Because we are not getting here any number. So, that means it is an empty set. So, C is an empty set. Condition A and C here. Uh, a and C both are empty set. But B is not an empty set. Why? Because B is carrying a number that is known as 0. So here B is not an empty set. But set A is an empty set. Because why? Because there is no such number. There is no such natural number which is smaller than 0. There is no such natural number which is smaller than 0. So here A is an empty set. And here 2 upon 5, after dividing this, we will not get here natural number. So, here C is an empty set. Is that clear? In this way, we solve question number 3. Now, let's solve question number 4. Question 4. Write with reason which of the following sets are finite or infinite. Finite sets are those sets which are countable. Finite sets are those sets which are countable and which are limited. That means countable number and limited number are known as finite sets. Example, days of the week, number of years, number of years and uh, also here uh, color of rainbow and uh, here we can say uh, example for finite set these all are the example uh, where we can easily count. Infinite sets are those sets. Infinite sets are those sets which we cannot count. Okay? They are unlimited and they are uncountable. Such set is known as infinite set. Example, number of stars. Number of stars are infinite. We cannot count. Natural number. Natural number are those numbers which start from 1. But we don't know which is the last number. So, the number goes on continuously. So, such type of a number which cannot be countable. Okay. So, such type of a number are known as infinite. Okay. Now, whole number are those numbers which start from 0. But we don't know which number is the last number. So, we are saying that like whole number is also infinite number. Now, integer are those numbers where positive and negative both the numbers are there. And they are also uh, infinite numbers. Integer say is infinite number. Now, finite sets are those sets which carry limited number and limited element. Example for this are uh, number of students are there in class 9, number of students present in uh, uh, class 9's math class. So, these are all are countable. So, the countable are finite and uncountable are infinite. Here, question number 4 carries 7 sub questions. We will solve one by one. Uh, sub question one. A is equal to curly bracket x such 
that x is less than 10. x is less than 10 when x is a natural number. Natural number are those numbers which start from 1. That means the number which start from 1, 1 and less than 10. Less than 10 means 9. 9 is also a natural number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In 9, all the numbers are countable and they are very limited number. So such number are finite set. Why? Because less than 10. X is less than 10. So here all these numbers are X number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All these numbers are countable. So these are finite set. Inside curly bracket we have to put all these numbers. Now B is equal to curly bracket Y such that Y. Y is less than minus 1 and Y is an integer. So, the number which is less than minus 1. Here Y is an integer. The number which is less than minus 1. Which are they? So, minus 2 is less than 1. Minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And there are infinite number. There are infinite negative number which are less than minus 1. So, here uh, y such that y is less than minus 1, y is an integer, that means y is an infinite set. Why? Because there are many numbers. So here we will write b is equal to curly bracket negative number on left hand side. That means ellipsis dot 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 comma minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. No, not minus 1. Still minus 2. Why? Because less than minus 1. Minus, less than minus 1. Still minus 2 we will take. So this ellipsis, comma, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, curly bracket close. So B is an infinite set. Now sub question third. C is equal to set of students of class 9 from your school. So it is very easy to count set of students uh, in class 9 in your school. Okay. A division 9 standard student, B division 9 student student. Uh, C division 9 standard student and B division 9 standard student. All these uh, number of students who are present, who are there in uh, class 9, you can easily count. For example, uh, A division there are 45 students, B division there are 45 students. So how much? 9 to. C division 50 students, uh, B division 60 students. So all these numbers you can easily count and lastly we will add the number and we will get total. So these numbers are countable. So, such type of a set are finite sets. So, it is possible to count class 9 students. So, it is a finite set. So, C is the, since the number of element of set C is countable number, so C is a finite set. D is equal to set of people from your village. Easily we can count how, count how many people are there in our village. Easily count. This is also countable set. Countable set that means it is a finite set. So since the number of element of D is countable number, that means D is a finite set. E is equal to set of apparatus in laboratory. Easily we can count the, uh, how many apparatus in laboratory. So E is a finite set. Since the number of element of set E is countable number, so E is a finite set. F is equal to set of whole number. Whole number are those number which start from 0. So, we know the number which start from 0, but we don't know which is the last number. So, this set is known as infinite set. So, set F is an uncountable, unlimited. So, such set is known as infinite set. So, here we will write F is equal to curly bracket. Whole number start from 0, 0, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, dot, 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 curly bracket close. That dot, dot, dot means continuation infinite. Okay, infinite number. So, F says that F is the set of infinite set. Okay, F is the set of infinite set. Now, G is equal to set of rational number. Here, rational number are those number where P upon Q but q is not equal to 0. Denominator cannot be equal to 0. Such type of a number are known as rational number. And as you know that there are uh, unlimited natural number, unlimited whole number, unlimited uh, integer and unlimited rational number. Even rational numbers are unlimited. Why? Because there are denominator is not equal to 0. There are many number, there are unlimited number where denominator is not equal to 0. So, uh, G is a 
number of element of G is infinite, so G is an infinite set. So in this way we finish practice set 1.2 question number 4. Okay, so here students 